Hey all, and welcome back to Fuzzy Dutchy Gaming and a new video to showcase a different variant of the Lightning Strike Raider that I've been working on. And this version utilizes five auras. It's sort of a mini aura stacker, I guess. So the build manages to fit in. Grace for evasion, determination for armor, anger for DPS, precision for accuracy and crit, and herald device for really, really nice clear. Now the goal of the build was to try and get as many defenses as I can into the build, whilst hopefully easily farming T14 plus maps and conquerors. So the footage in the background is a 50% monster life T14 map uh, with double boss. And as you can see, the damage is absolutely fine. I've also done all the Guardians and A8 Cirrus a few times on the build. Cirrus didn't feel particularly good. I still need to upgrade a lot of my gear. My claw is still very lacking. Um, if you take a look at the claw on my profile, it's decent. It's got the multi and the attack speed that we need, but the crit chance is low and the lightning damage is very low. And we don't have a harvest craft on it yet. I also need to get some Chaos Resistance because I've got none on any of my gear. And that's one of the problems of having to stack so many different things into a build. And I also don't have a Corrupted Blood Jewel. So I haven't done Sirith Deathless yet. Uh, I have really massive performance issues on Sirith in terms of lag and desync and all sorts. So, I mean, I'm not a particularly great player and I'm not saying I would have done it Deathless anyway. But there was a couple of deaths where I literally couldn't have done anything about it. Because one minute I'm fine, the next minute I'm in a cloud and I'm dead. Uh, but I haven't failed a series yet. I haven't failed any encounters at all. What we'll do in a minute is just go through what the build's done, what it does well, and what it maybe doesn't do so well. What I don't want to do is, is make it out like it's this amazing aura stacking build that you're going to ramp all the content with and you're going to do 30 wave simulacrums because you're probably not, but it's not what this League Start build's built for. So the tree is very similar and we'll move on to that in a minute. But first you want to point out some changes to the build and some of these I'll recommend that you make on your own Lightning Strike build. The first I would definitely recommend once you get to higher tier content and you get slightly better gear is drop the Vile Ancestral War Chief Totem for a normal one. This is really good when you're leveling the Ancestral War Chief because it does give you extra damage that you do need. There's two issues with this totem. One, it's only melee damage, so you're only buffing the melee part of the Lightning skill. Second is that it shares souls with Vile Lightning Strike, so Vile Lightning Strike will take twice as long to recharge. That it's something that I think is needed early on when you haven't got the gear. Any boost you can get to get bosses down and improve your progression is good. But once you get to content like Cirrus, Maven, stuff like that, you have to wait too long for your Vile Lightning Strike to come back up. And it's a big part of our DPS. So what I do is I link Multi Totem with Coal so that I can get 10% Coal because I haven't worked that into the tree or the build yet. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've added a Rock Gut Flask. These are one Chaos. These are such a good flask for a Raider. Essentially what they do is they give you a chance to get a flash charge when you get a critical strike so you can charge it really quick. Obviously there's a cooldown on it. Um, what it does is gives you onslaught for 3 seconds per frenzy charge and I run 7 frenzy charges. So I basically get my frenzy charges up. I then use the flask and I get 21 seconds of onslaught. It's really really good for bosses. It takes a bit of micromanagement and getting used to because people normally are used to spamming their movement skill. Um, but all you need to do because we get charges so quick You'd activate the utility flask, you'd hit the enemy boss whatever for like a second, then you would hit your rock gut flask and that would give you onslaught uh, for 21 seconds. And then you don't need to worry about that flask again for another 20 seconds. It works really, really well and is a nice, cheap and easy way to get permanent onslaught up on most bosses. The other thing I've done, but this is mainly because I'm running an armor version, is I've swapped Immortal Call for Molten Shell. The Molten Shell gives me more of a buff than the cast and damage taken Immortal Call. And that's it really. I haven't really changed anything else in the build. What we'll do now, as I'm sure you're dying to know, is we'll go through what the build's achieved, how expensive it is, and how do you fit all these auras in. So what's the build achieved so far? Um, I mean, before I even transition to this, all the watchstones are pretty easy to gather. You don't really have to do that much difficult content um, to do. All the guardians are down, all the conquerors are done, and A8 series has been done three times. But absolute junk drops, and at the moment, the fight still doesn't feel that great. But as I said, this isn't really a build I've made for farming series. It's a, it's a build for getting all the Atlas completed and then just farming red maps and all the league mechanics as quickly as we can. Um, it's done very, very juiced up 10 weight invitations. They weren't deathless. The way I've kind of viewed this is I've got my character to 94. I don't need any more levels. So let's start having some fun. So I've been juicing the invitations up. Um, there's a screenshot in the background showing the last one I've done. Unfortunately, my hard drive ran out of space recording and then obviously couldn't record any more. If you want to be safe and complete them, so the first time you do them, I probably wouldn't juice them because if you brick it, 
you're missing out on on an atlas passive um i didn't i took the risk and this one was tough and i did lose four portals but i want to get as many crescent splinters as i can i want to get the expensive watchstones because at this stage of the league it's all worth a lot of money and in all honesty on this one i could have picked better mods um it's 83 monster level delve absolutely no problem it's really comfortable in delve because we get all the life on hit delve monsters now don't hit as hard so with the armor and our evasion and our life on hit this is an absolute breeze same with item level 83 temples they were really really easy in regards to cirrus i definitely lack some dps and it does feel like a bit of a chore so i don't want to sell this build to something that you're going to afk cirrus in like three minutes you would if you had you know 30x investment and lots more damage on your gear but at this stage it's doable because it's fairly safe but it is a bit long so onto the cost this is where i was absolutely shocked when i went on this morning so this build cost me less than 6x to build in total and that's including the chest all the jewels everything so what i thought i'd do is do a build guide go on to trade search the item so we can build the build together either someone else has bought a build guide out with this sort of aura stacking or people have been keeping an eye on my profile and have copied the build because stuff that was maybe 10 or 20c yesterday is now 50 or 60c and stuff that was 50c is now 1 or 2x so this build is now double what i paid for it. i'd say it's probably 10 to 15x to get this build up and running and i really don't think it's worth it because i think it's really hard to scale the damage and you don't need to spend that much on just a build that you want to farm t14 and 16 maps and conquerors with so for those interested in how it's built it requires a lot of mandatory gear and mandatory skills so you need 75 percent herald of ice reservation on your helmet you need 15 sorry 30 percent reservation efficiency on your shield you need anger on your amulet with at least probably 48 percent efficiency you can obviously juice that with a catalyst but they're quite expensive that's it in terms of the gear and then on the tree if we go over to path of building on the tree you need to take this node here and then we're taking determination as 25 percent increased efficiency and as the normal build we're taking precision efficiency here and then we're taking grace efficiency there and then along with the reservation mastery there that leaves us with not very much mana so because of that we've also had to take some mana nodes on the tree which is a pain i don't really want to have to take them um, but i guess they give us a bit of int and strength um, for our attributes because i found without them i just didn't have enough mana to attack even with um minus mana cost of skills chest which is something that you'll need to run in the build so we'll go back to the profile this chest cost me about i think it was 70 c for the base there's only one attack uh, tag on this so you just roll attacks until you get a decent roll um armor and then you just craft whatever you can on top of it but obviously i got quite lucky with this roll you wouldn't normally get a roll this good but all you'd need is some life max life resistance is whatever you can get in again this armor in this state it is now yesterday was probably about 85 90 you see now it's probably two to three x so because we're taking all this stuff we can't take for example we can't get block or suppression on the shield or it's going to be very difficult to it would be an absolute fortune to get max resistances and socketed gems and life or avoid ailments same with the amulet we're missing out on stuff like flat to attacks missing out on um crit multi it's the same with all of the things where we have to take specific things we're a bit stuck and it's the same with the enchant this yesterday was 10 chaos i can't find one single helmet at the moment that's either dex armor or armor or dex with 75 percent mana reservation efficiency for anything under like a few x and yesterday it was it was five to ten chaos so i'd 100 percent recommend not trying to follow this just because it's not worth the money if you could build this character for five or six x it's really fun as you can see from the footage in the background you're really not going to die mapping and as long as you don't mind taking the death there isn't really any content in terms of just the standard stuff like cirrus you know conquerors guardians that you won't be able to complete but i think for five or six x you could build lightning strike as per the original guide or many other ways that would be more efficient than this so i think that covers the update so again i don't recommend people try it because of the price at the moment it has massive plus points it's brain dead farming t14 to t16 maps it is so easy what i'm going to do is sell all this gear and then build the lightning strike character as per the build guide the reason i did it like this is because i knew the build guide would work i wanted to try something else to see if there was maybe a way to get stuff going and i think with loads of investment this could be a really good way to build it but at the moment 
I'm only able to get like the mana stuff and then I'm just missing so many key stats on gear like you know getting some armor and evasion up uh maybe getting some more suppression on here and just just this is wasted it's just makes me use less mana you'd want something like crit on here or power charge on here endurance charges there's tons of things that this chest could be but it can't be because I need 15 mana cost the other option you could have for your mana cost is you drop Ellie damage of attacks add inspiration in it's slightly less damage but what you could then do is craft something on either a ring or an amulet which would be minus mana cost and then that would probably see you through so then you could run a slightly different chest so say so I'm going to get going and work on building the character as per the build guide again if you need help on any aspect of the build I'm trying to keep up with all the comments but I've got a written guide I've got a discord I stream on twitch and I've got the youtube thing and I work and obviously have a life so it's very difficult for me to keep on top of everything but there's a lot of people that seem to be responding to comments that know their stuff um, so if you do need help please let me know um, as always thank you very much for your time take care and see you in the next video